10 minute game it's a proper game it's not a training game i've played many training games today so now we're just uh, jumping on the jumping on the horse and uh, getting in and playing a proper game based on all of the findings from our training so all the things that i need to work on let's see if we can pull it all together logical thinking creative thinking and the final thing being the it's fine syndrome <laughs> let's go here it's castle okay he's wanting to open the center let's just grab the palm he's not done it that way let's grab here Push there. Um, well, okay, let's grab anyway. And uh, we could attack the bishop, but then we lose a pawn. So, there's a few things that could happen here. I'm going to attack the higher piece with a lesser piece. going to attack a higher piece with a lesser piece again and then I'm going to attack a higher piece with a lesser piece again and take the bishop off the board then attack a higher piece with a lesser piece and if we had something supporting here that would have been a beautiful x-ray through but we don't so we have to work with what we've got x-ray through to a higher piece seeing all the gold and right the answer process queen is looking to get here but obviously the bishops are covering because he wants to get that cheap situation in so really do we need we don't need to worry about that at this moment because we do have the bishops covering those squares so that's quite key so he's going to want to get the bishops off the board and i think the knight coming attacking the bishop is going to be a key thing for them so i'm thinking i'm going to just get this pawn here supporting in readiness so that we can x-ray through onto the knight through to the queen okay so i'm just going to move my queen now so we do have like a bit of a battery if you want to call it So he's blocked the battery off the queen doesn't have any support anymore now but can't put the bishop here because he's got like two pieces on there knight takes pawn takes rook takes the pawn so we lose out there could bring the bishop here looking to jam in the uh, king a bit develop a rook it's quite nice if you can get your bishop into this uh, it's wanting to get rid of the bishop so we take but then his rook comes down takes the pawn bishop sorry rook takes move order thing move order thing mm -hmm. let's take rook takes Does he feel he's going to lose out on tempo? Maybe, yeah. So he's not doing, not doing that. Queen takes. Uh, 
and he's wanting to own the file so if we move yeah okay if we move here then he takes bishop takes then his rook comes here looking to own the file then I'm having to babysit the bishop Mm-hmm. Attack. Make him make a decision. Still wanting to own a file, isn't it? That way. Yeah, okay. So we could just take the rook off the board. Don't want to overthink or anything though. Um fell foul of that in, in the previous game. Rook takes, rook takes, he's owning this file, king comes across. Okay, yeah, keep it simple. Just bring the king across. So we know the ilk of this player who doesn't want to exchange these rooks at all. He wants to be happy as Larry in when it happens. So our king is there now, so we could actually now come and start a challenge, challenging these pawns, I believe. Yep. While his king's coming down for our bishop. It's on a dark square. It's okay, so... Could bring the bishop here, it's just he's got this pawn there start challenging the knight what's the knight doing oh hold on a minute it's got this space here attacking our rook he starts coming down yeah let's go with that so he's going to attack the rook with the knight could come there to attack it but then where are we sending the knight to Here. Yep. So we were going to go here. So we got fork. Don't think there's anything there. No, he hasn't. Okay. So don't want to stay on this file if we're going to keep getting harassed all the time so if we go here and then look to actually touch onto his rook that might be an idea okay let's do that again so obviously his knight's going to come back around but if we do that rook takes bishop takes bishops on the pot on so i don't think we're forced to get it it's just going to move it isn't it mm, knight v bishop Okay, so he's not moved, so... Let's go for it. Moves the pawn. And... Take. Push this to keep it on a white square. Knight gets into the action, attacks our pawn, can't protect it. We'd have to come here, yes, yeah, so he's coming for the pawn, so we'll go here and attack this pawn. Let's take. So we're on that pawn. So we need to try and keep it on a white square, so if we block it here, he comes down for ours, we go for his. Oh, and we get a little bit of a skewer situation. Beautiful. These games can still be drawn though. <laughs> uh, it's going to take a while for his king to come and defend this pawn. One, two. 
Uh, maybe not. Maybe he's still going to get the pawn. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's actually behind the pawn, but no, he's not. So, shall we just keep that like that? What are we on? Four minutes. Okay, so that was a nice one. It's not finished yet, though. So, when I start saying that was a nice one, that is the that's fine mode kicking him where I think I've won and then the opponent pulls something out of thin air that shocks me so I need to focus and keep focused all the way to the end so it's what can the opponent do just keep pushing let's grab It's like they might have um, disconnected or something <laughs> there is the resign button if you're going to resign you know you don't need to disconnect okay right so that's fine that's um grand that's a good that's a good practice session utilizing the three key areas that i need to work on in developing my chess game